Welcome to the channel guys, I'm Danny Malcolm and in today's video I'm going to talk about the number one injury in golf, which is lower back pain. Now if that's you, I'm going to talk about a few things in the swing that may be a big contributing factor to that lower back pain. But just a disclaimer of course, I'm not a medical professional, so if you do have back pain, please go and see your medical professional who will be able to help you out. Okay, let's get straight into it. So. Lower back pain is, is normally caused by one or two things that happen during the golf swing. Firstly, let me talk a little bit about the body. In the body, we have mobile joints and stable joints. So let's work from the ground up. Your ankle will generally be more of a mobile joint. It can work in lots of different directions. Your knee joint would be a very stable joint as it can only work flexion and extension, only in one plane there. Then you've got your hip, which is a mobile joint which can again work in all different directions. Your lower back, your lower back is a stable joint that's really only supposed to flex and extend. So it's not really supposed to be rotating or bending too much to the side either. So that's a stable joint. Then you've got your thoracic, which is a, a mobile joint and then so on and so forth through the rest of your body. So just looking at this area here, lower back pain generally is a result of something happening downstream or upstream that's not quite working. And in, in that instance, the, you're then gonna have to use the lower back in order to, to get some rotation. So when it comes to the golf swing, oftentimes we're, we're looking for that big rotation in the swing. So you'll see that your shoulders start to get to 90 degrees, hips will start to rotate. But oftentimes, if you've got a restriction in your hips or your thoracic spine, then players will tend to try and get rotation from their lower back, which is not ideal. And this can often lead to what we call reverse spine angle, which is the main, I guess, swing characteristic that can contribute to lower back pain. So what is reverse spine angle? Well, essentially that's when you've, if you used to take your normal setup here, you, you'd be pretty centered, your head would be pretty steady as you rotate in a backswing. Most better players will stay either fairly centered with the head or they might even tilt a little bit to their right. But what you don't want to be doing is tilting this way in an effort to get more rotation. If we get stuck with our hips or thoracic, then that lower back will kick in and we'll start to tilt more in this direction. So you can see that my head's now working towards the target and the spine is in what we call a reverse spine angle. We'd like to see that more here or here. So, that's the main swing characteristic that can lead to low back pain because as you start to work this way we're working into a lot of extension in the spine and we're trying to get rotation from that lower back and it's going to put a lot of stress on that lower back but not only that in the backswing what can then happen is in the downswing to get back to the ball we'll go the other way and then we may get this excessive side bend into the ball and again it's puts a lot of shear through the facets of that lower back and it can contribute to, 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 to a lot of issues. So that's the first thing I would say, just obviously just go and see a coach if you've got a coach that you see, but otherwise just set up a camera in front of you and take some videos and just see where is your, where is your head at the top of the swing, where is your spine? And if you're a player that's getting more into this position, then I've got a great simple little feeling or drill to help you with that. So I like this drill called reach over the fence. So it's a very, very simple drill. You can just imagine that you've got an electric fence that's 10,000 volts that's coming up to your right hip here. And you're going to try and just essentially, imagine you've got a golf, a, a golf ball, a, a football or a basketball or something like that. And you're just going to reach over that fence and try and pass that ball to somebody behind you or to the side of you. Now what that's going to do is going to get your spine in a much more flexed position forward. Obviously this is an exaggeration. We don't want to be playing golf from way down here. Um, but having that electric fence there just stops you again from bumping those hips into that, which can also then contribute to this sort of move. So you can imagine you've got a ball, or you could do this near your kitchen table at home, reach over that table or over the fence, put that ball to the side and look where your spine is in a much different much different tilt here. Now that's the exaggerated feel. If you're somebody that's been here, then you want to feel a bit more of this. And then hopefully during the swing, you start to come to more in the, into this sort of position. So that's the first thing. Check if you've got reverse spine angle. Second to that, there's something in the setup that can also contribute to this, uh, which is something we call 
S posture. So if you used to take your dress position, what we'd like to see for most players is a nice neutral posture. And what I mean by that is we're not too arched with the lower back and we're not too flat with the lower back either. So we're nice and neutral. A good way to find neutral is to imagine you've got a, a bucket of water here on your hips and when you take your dress position, you're going to tip that bucket forward. So that's going to arch the lower back. Then you're going to do the opposite and then you're going to get that bucket so it's very level. And then we're going to arch the lower back and then we're going to get it back to neutral. So there you see you've got S posture, you've got the excessive C posture and then we've got neutral in the middle. That's where we'd like to be. That's where we'd like to start from. Because if you start from too, too much of the S posture, for example, that's going to be more of this position. Now that's already got your lower back in excessive extension. So you can imagine as I start to make a backswing, how that can get me more into this position already, just based on where I've set up to begin with. So from this view, if I've got too much arch in my lower back, it's going to put me more into this position in the backswing, a lot of stress then on the lower back as well. So that's another point, just check your setup, check your dress position, go through those th uh, three different uh, setups. So again, that's neutral, arch in the lower back, flat in the lower back, arch the lower back, and then find neutral. That's where you'd like to be. So a couple of ideas there. If you have got lower back pain, again, go and see your medical professional, but also just check, is it something in your golf swing in your technique that could be a contributing factor to that back pain. If it is, we want to get that sorted out because we want to play this game for as long as possible, pain-free, injury-free, and I really hope that helps. If you've got any questions whatsoever, please let me know. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you next time, and thanks for watching.